Hey, um, this is Crystal. I am posting for the first time. Um, I mean, I've posted things before, but um, this is something I felt strongly about that I needed to do. Um, and so here goes. Um, it's kind of weird looking at myself, so this is weird. But anyway, this is the first real episode of Keep It Going with Crystal. And it, it was hard to decide on a name for this. So, I'm a bundle of lots of things. So, I do battle with mental illness. Um, I'm a mom. I'm a Christian. Um, I have a job, a full-time job. Um, let's see, I have two babies. They're 12 and 13, Bradley and Teresa. Um, this is kind of weird looking at myself. Um... But anyway, I feel like there's a lot I can share. And Brad just came in. Okay, I'm back. It's going to take a lot for me to figure out how to do all this and edit. And you would think I would know with my videographer family. Okay, so I'm back. So, where, where was I? Uh, I'm also a wife. Brad, who just busted in on me, is my husband. We've been married 15 years on 7722. We got married 7707 at 7. Um, oddly enough, my work phone number also ends in 7777. Um, and I realize I have no makeup on. I'm in my favorite jammies. Um, Draper James. A little Reese Witherspoon. Anyway, but this is me. This is real. I'm a very real person. Um, anyway, so I'm all these things, right? I'm all these bundles of lots of fun things, but... Down to my core, I'm a Christian. And I've, I hear a lot of songs, a lot I sing in the praise band at my church. Um, but I hear a lot of things about God picks the crazy ones to kind of make a way and, and, and do things for him. And if, any, if I'm any of those things, it's crazy. So I feel like this is my time. I feel like this has been something I'm supposed to do for a long time. Step out of my comfort zone. My new hashtag is get uncomfortable. Don't try to steal it. It's mine. Um, I actually didn't trademark it, so I might need to do that. But anyway, I feel like this is the time for me to get uncomfortable. Um, get uncomfortable with the way I manage my money and the way I, I need to work out better. And I need to do things like that that, that you know, everybody at 41 really needs to do. So I feel like I'm your typical normal person. I may be funnier than some, which, <laughs> of course. Anyway. Um, but to be serious, I feel like I do have a lot to share and I feel like God wants me to tell people about things that are going on with me. And so anyway, this is the beginning of something super fun. I'm excited about it. Um, and just on this first episode, let's touch on a few things. So today I was watching a little bit of the Mr. Rogers, the making of Mr. Rogers and like, want you to be my neighbor and I feel like we've lost a lot of that as just in the world we've lost a lot of just puppet hand puppets and trolley cars and sweaters and shoes and and that's sad to me like now everything's got to be you know and I love everybody and everything so but I feel like everybody's always trying to hurt somebody's feelings or everybody's always trying to cross the line I feel like it happens on Facebook it happens on Instagram it happens on TV it happens on the previews of the movies, like everybody's just trying to always one up and be the next offensive thing or, and we really just need to laugh and be happy and love each other. Like that's all God wants us to do. He doesn't want us to hurt each other's feelings and make each other cry and make you feel bad. Like that Mr. Rogers said, you just should know you're, I know I'm referring to him a lot, but like everyone is worthy. Everyone is perfect the way they are. God made you the way he did for a reason. And I feel like that we've lost all of that. Like, we're, we're, there's too much social media. There's too much, and that's funny because I'm on YouTube, but there's too much going on, like too much noise that we can't just sit for a minute. And one of Mr. Rogers' episodes, sometimes he would just sit and watch the egg timer tick. And this is probably like trademarked or something. I don't know the rules of YouTube yet. But they just sat there for a whole minute while the ticker just said tick, tick, tick. Because nobody sits anymore. 
Like nobody's present anymore. You're always waiting for the next thing to drop, the next iPhone to come out. Not me. I'm a Samsung. But the next best, like it's always something. You've got to be going by something, which is why we deal with a lot of mental illness too. Because everything is just go, 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 go. Like nobody just stops for like five seconds. And I almost want to like be emotional doing this because I like talking to myself. Awesome. But anyway, and the other thing, my husband tonight was watching Andy Griffith's show. And people were like, oh, my God, that's so stupid. But you know what? It's not. It's when things were simple. And people rode bikes. And people threw the football in the yard. And people played basketball. And they went fishing. And they went hunting. And they, which I know some people don't like that. But I'm just saying they were outdoors. And they were being with each other. And it wasn't just this. And we've lost that. Like, I think we've got to find that again. And God wants us to find that again. He wants us to find peace. And he wants us to find, just find ourselves. Like, find our core and find what's important to us. And and I'm no preacher. I love Jesus. He loves me. I do not, I'm not a preacher. Um, I feel like I'm a Christian who's supposed to spread the word and just be true and be real. And yes, and sometimes funny, the first four videos I posted were from two years ago during the COVID. I went to the beach with my friends and um, made some really funny videos. And I wasn't drunk in the videos. And I'm holding a wine bottle as a microphone. Um, but it was just good fun. I think we played cards. We watched TV. You couldn't do anything because of COVID. Um, and we had a hurricane, which I've never really been in the middle of before. So those were the, what those first four videos were. Um, it was just me having a good time. And clean, good, fun, right? So anyway, this is just the first one. Um, I hope of many. Um, and I mentioned I do battle some mental illness funsies. And I think people don't talk about that enough. Um, it's important that we recognize we get help. Too many people's lives are ended too soon because they don't get the help they need. Um... And we miss those people, and we don't want that to happen to any of, of any of our loved ones ever. And I think it's important to get the help you need. Right now, I'm a little bit of a roller coaster. Um, hopefully, to get that flattened out again pretty soon. But I have so much to say. I don't know if anybody needs to hear it or wants to hear it or whatever. You may see me in this nightgown a lot. You may see me with wet, curly hair a lot and no makeup. But I will say the first person I saw do this was Tiffany Jenkins, and she was such a role model to me um, because she just gets on here, speaks her mind, talks about funny things we all think about. Um, and if she can do it, I can do it, right? I mean, it's just we all learn by living and by being with one another. And I also thought of another thing today when somebody asked me, do you like, like, what do you learn? How do you educate yourself every day? Like, how do you grow in knowledge? And I just do that by meeting people. I talk a lot. Um, my playground, my education ground is people. And that's how I learn. That's how I grow. I don't think of it that way, but that's what it is. Um, just getting to meet people every day. Um, meet them where they are. Like my boss says, Dr. Barry. Um, you got to meet people where they are, and I believe that's a, a, on all levels, educational, social, um, spiritually. Uh, you got to meet them where they are. So, um, thanks, Dr. Barry, for that. Anyway, um, y'all have a wonderful night. I'm going to make it brief because I do have a family to entertain and hang out with and be present for, which I'm not always great at. So, um, anyway, peace, love, and Cricky. Cricky's my nickname, um, in case I didn't mention that earlier. But, um, maybe that should be the name of my thing. Peace, love, and cricky. It's kind of catchy. I like it. Anyway, have a good night, and, um, see you soon. Bye.